Hi, I'm Jen, and today we're going to be looking at importing and exporting in Lightroom 3. The basics of Lightroom is really import, edit, export. You can do them all in a batch, and it saves a ton of time. So I'll just show you the basics of how to properly import and export them. When you're in your library tab of Lightroom, you're going to click on import. And that's going to give you a variety of options on how it's going to let you import. On your left hand side here, this is where you're going to import from. And on your right hand side, it's where you're going to import to. So I'm going to import right from my computer, from my 365 folder. And I don't want to import all of these today, so I'm going to uncheck all of them and then just select a couple to show you with. So you can either um, click one at a time or you can shift click or command or control shift click and um, check them that way. So it's just going to import these three that I have checked. So on your right side here, this is how we're going to handle the importing. You can have it send a second copy to an external hard drive or a secondary location. You can have it rename here as it imports. You can do a variety of options. I prefer to have it rename as I export, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. You can also apply different presets right as you import. These are like actions in Photoshop, but they're just a little different. So you can have them applied right as you import. You can do the presets that you define, or you can do the presets that come standard with Lightroom, or none at all. And then on the bottom here, you're going to choose where you're going to import it to. Um, you can do your desktop. You can right click and create a new folder. So let's create a new folder right on my desktop called Just Plain. Create that and we're going to choose to import it to there. So once you have that all figured out, just click import and it's going to shoot those in for you. Now you can make your edits however you'd like to and then when you're done editing it's time to export. You can either choose to um, select your photos by flag, or you can individually select the photos you would like to import. Um, I like these two, and I think that one's dumb, so let's just export these two. So when you're ready to export, um, you can go to the top, export from the file menu, or you can go right down here at the bottom and select export. There's a bunch of different options in your, your export pop-up window. So I'm going to export it right to my hard drive into, instead of to a CD. And then you can choose your export location. We can send it right to the desktop. We can put it back into our Just Playing folder. Um, we can send it to a different folder, create an entire new one. I'm just going to put them right on my desktop. Here's where you can rename, and this is where I like to rename them. So select Rename. You can choose one of these basic options, like just a custom name, a custom name plus a sequence, which I'll choose today, or you can edit it to make your own layout of naming. So we'll just go to Just Plan and have it start with number one. You can export them into a variety of different um, formats. I'm going to use JPEG since I'm done editing them and I'm going to resize them to fit my blog. So I'm going to do 800 pixels on the long edge. You can change it to a specific width and height. You can make the short edge a specific length, or you can not resize them at all. So let's resize the long edge to be 800. I'm going to sharpen it for my screen because these are going right to my blog. I don't worry about the metadata, but I'm going to go ahead and add a watermark. Here you can create your own watermark. You can use a basic one that Lightroom will make for you. But there's a lot of different options for watermarking. You can choose to have a, an image be your watermark. So if you create one in Photoshop, um, you can type one up, change the color, the effects, the position by clicking here. Or, and then when you're ready, when you finish, save it. Or you can have no watermark at all. From here, you can send it to Photoshop to keep editing, or you can just send it to wherever you chose to export it. Choose export, it'll send it there, and you're done. So those are the basics of importing and exporting in Lightroom.